guys and welcome to our channel cooking like Antonio today we will be making a pasta omelet you will actually be getting two recipes instead of one we will be making a spaghettini with tomato and basil sauce we will be turning that into an omelet okay so I have peeled and finely diced the onion and then I have de-seeded the tomato and chopped it roughly Okay, so next we will be needing about four tablespoons of fresh parsley that we are going to chop. And this is the last of the parsley from our garden. It's already survived a few inches of snow. So I was just decided I'm not going to waste that and I'm going to use it. I am ready to start making our spaghetti with the tomato and basil sauce. So as you can see, I'm flying solo today. I don't have my cooking partner here helping me today. So we'll see how this goes. Um, so again, um, we're going to start by heating four tablespoons of butter. And we are just going to allow that to melt. And I do have our pot of water come into a boil there so we can cook the spaghetti or well, we are we're actually just using thin spaghetti. Okay, our butter has melted, we're ready to go ahead and add the onion. And then we are going to cook that just for a few minutes until it softens and starts to brown slightly. So our onion is starting to brown slightly. Um, you can also use scallions for this, that would also be great. To this we are going to add our chopped tomato. And then we are going to fry this for another 3 to 4 minutes. So our tomato and onion has been cooking for a few minutes. As you can see the tomato is breaking down, it's getting soft. To this, we're now going to go ahead and add the basil. And I'm just going to break the basil into little pieces here. Okay. And we're just going to season this with salt to taste. We're just waiting for the spaghetti to finish cooking and we will be adding that right into our sauce. Okay, our pasta has cooked. We cooked that in, in some nicely salted water. Now we're just going to go ahead and add that right into our sauce. And there's no need to try and completely drain this. Um, getting pasta water in there is actually a good thing. Really delicious. Very basic sauce that comes together in just a few minutes. Okay, and then this is the base recipe for the omelet. And again, this is something that you can just eat the way it is. So I am going to go ahead and try it and see what I think of just this. Okay, so there's the final product of just this spaghetti with the tomato and basil sauce. And I'm going to go ahead and try that. I put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on there. So what we think of this just on its own. This is a very basic, easy recipe to make. This is actually really tasty. I mean, I kind of just want to eat all of this right now, but <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and make the omelet. It's really simple flavors, and you wouldn't expect much of it, but it is very good. Okay, I should stop eating. Let's make the omelet. We will be adding the pasta that we cooked earlier into the skillet and we'll just heat that through. Okay, and while we are waiting for the oil to heat up, we are going to take our six eggs and just lightly beat that. Like 
how it flow has heated up. Okay. Well, pressing. to cook until it starts to brown and it forms a crust. This is looking pretty good. Um, if you can see that there on the camera, it is solidifying. What we're doing is we're waiting for a crust to form at the bottom, at which point we are going to turn it over onto a plate, add some more oil and then cook the other side. Now, I don't have a plate big enough to hold this, so I'm going to cheat and just try to turn it out in the lid. We'll see how that goes. I think we're getting close to the moment of truth here. I'm a little nervous about turning this omelet. Go ahead and just loosen this along the sides. Do this again, or when I do this again, I will definitely use a non stick skillet. I love my stainless steel cooker, but I don't think that's the best choice for this recipe. I'm not going to be the prettiest, so I'll do that. Alright, got it loosened up. Okay, we've got our heat back on. Got the remainder of the oil going in there. Take our omelet. And then we're just gonna cook this until makes a nice crust at the bottom as well, and then we'll go ahead and serve it and do the taste test. So that was off to a little bit of a rough start, but it actually didn't turn out too badly in the end. Um, I just put it on a cutting board because I just don't have a plate big enough to hold this. So we're going to go ahead, slice this up, and see what it tastes like. Mm, mamma mia! Okay, so I'm ready to go ahead and try the pasta omelette. Um, it looks really good. So let's see what it tastes like. So I have sprinkled a little additional parmesan on mine. And that is really good. It's got a very nice crunch from the crust. It's got all the delicious flavors from the pasta and the basil and the tomato. That is very good. Um, quite frankly, both recipes can stand on their own. They were both delicious. I can see why Antonio likes this one. As usual, he did not disappoint. That is very tasty. That crunch from the crust really puts it over the top. So if you try this at home, make sure to leave a comment below. Tell us what you think. And next week we will, we will be back. And I will have my cooking partner with me again, hopefully. And with that, I am saying bye for now. Thanks for watching.